Hey guys, um, I played more of the funny e-golem deck. Here's the gameplay. I don't know if I want to keep uploading. I just... I got nothing else to do, so I'm just going to keep uploading, but... That's cool. Um, it's clearly running. Don't tell me that it's tough for anyone. It clearly hasn't. Now this dude... He just didn't have a way to punish me. So he just got away with... So he just can't get away with defending my eagle and push. And he can't... can't he just... He can't do anything when I go for this stuff. I have... I don't arrows properly here, but I still hit the wall breakers that he put in for some reason. I have no idea why. I tried to ability, but I fat finger it. Um, yeah, and then he miners. I use my E wizard to activate King Tower, and now he literally can't get any damage. So yeah, I just I just use archers on the wall breakers and ice spirit for an even trade. I mighty miner, and then I try to save my arrows for the bats, but then he doesn't play the bats. He play well, he does, but not in the arrows range. I fireball this just to get power. I defend this, but then I kind of realize, so, oh wait, he literally can't get any damage because I have King Tower activated. So I just go opposite lane and make a re insanely large push. So it's like, yeah, sure, he got two wall breakers to connect. But look at this push now that I have. And I have even more elixir than him. Yep, the double E golem push happened. Boys. I arrows the bats, and it doesn't matter because Mighty Miner locked on and bada bing bada boom. I win. Do, do, do. That's what happens when you don't put in actual pressure cards. I played so many games with minor wall breakers and I could not end the game because I would just defend, defend, defend and never get any counter push. Here's this dude without a wing condition. Do, do, do. So yeah, I think he thinks Mega Knight is his win condition, which it's not. Oh, this isn't even a, whatever, I don't care. This is a Goblin Giant Sparky deck. This is a ladder game. I just, I don't even care, man. I'm just gonna... Snowball Mighty Miner, and now I'm like, now I'm plus five. So obviously I'm going to go in for a Goblin Giant. And Archer's behind the Mighty Miner, and it doesn't even matter that he activated King Tower, because he also deactivated King, his other tower. Because he had to be minus five Elixir. Just had to. Just let me Mega Knight instantly in front of nothing. And then, yeah, he pretty much wins. 
That's pretty much the whole game. He eventually shows that he has e -wish, which is kind of weird why he didn't use it. I get this crazy counter push. Hey. I almost think it's out of the tower, but I don't. Hmm. I'm just not really feeling it, guys, so they sorry about that. And then I got this game where I lost by 50 HP and by, like, two elixir. Like, literally, I was I lost by, like, two elixir. I don't know what's taking him so long to take the first play. He plays Mortar Poison. I didn't have any good plays to go in myself. I just, I need an answer for the Phoenix. The Phoenix is such an annoying ass card. Like literally I have an answer for Mega Minion, but not the Phoenix. Because... I eagle um I e whiz Like should I just run Musketeer E whiz? Just Just for the freaking Phoenix Like, I, I try Mighty Miner Bomb, it just doesn't, it's just such an overpowered card on defense. It does so much damage. I don't care that its respawn is weaker. If it respawns, it's already a win. Like, like they already won the game if they can respawn their Phoenix. Respawning the Phoenix is a hard thing to do, and you're already in the lead. Like, dude, nerf the damage again, please. It should not, the Mega Minion is a worthless card because of it. I want to use the Mega Minion. That's a classic. Oh, I Mega Knight on the Archer Queen. He goblins. So I e was to make sure that it doesn't, that my Mind Miner doesn't die. And I do a good amount of damage. I get his tower down to a thousand HP, but his Phoenix is just sitting there, just like, hey, hey, you can't do anything about it. So yeah, I I pretty much I Sparky because that's all I can do. I just I can't kill this Phoenix. At least it's in tower range, so it doesn't just completely do everything over. I fireball the goblins and the knight and the mortar. I archers the miner and I mighty miner up top front because I know that I'm going to need to. And that stupid goblin, that goblin stab literally lost me the game. I'm not even joking. So I go in again. I arrows, I fireball the Archer Queen, and I get it down to 50 HP. And then watch. I literally just have to cycle back to Archers, arrows, I mean. I do the cheapest amount of cycle, and half a elixir, half a elixir, and I lost. Oh my god. I can't get over how close that game was. Oh well, that's it for today, guys. I don't care that I put in the game with a different deck. Who who cares? It's Sparky, anyways. Thanks for watching. Bye.